baseball. Giants hosting the Rockies. 30 runs scored in the two-game split thus far. And Barry Bonds wants to add two more and one more. Four for ten career against lefty Jeff Francis with one homer. Popped out in his first at-bat. There's a different pop there for Barry Bonds, who hits home run number 743, and he's now 12 shy of Henry Aaron's historic mark. Eight inning, bottom eight, two on, one out. Bonds on deck. Reliever Manny Corpus walks Rich Aurelia with the Giants down a run. The bases are loaded, and that brings up Bonds and... I can still rake. Two runs single. The bat speeds there. The Giants take the lead, and the Giants go on to win it. 5-3 is your final. Adam raised the cane, but can he raise his game to deny Bonds Thursday in a game that the Giants will start Matt Kane. Bonds, 8 for 23 against the Phillies right-hander Adam Eaton. He's gone deep four times, and you can see it's history in the making. Indians have the best record in the American League. They're 15-8, and eight, hosting the Blue Jays. Bottom five Indians down a run. Josh Towers, good night, John Boy. I don't think so. Johnny Peralta, three-run homer to left, his sixth. The Indians are up 6-4, but the Jays tie it, and we are in extras. One on Travis Hafner. The Blue Jays put the shift on, and you can see third baseman goes to short, shortstop and second baseman. Or we're talking about per diem, so the center fielder and right fielder, and Hafner says shift that. Uh, Sean Markham, and all the way from first base, David DeLucci wearing his PF flyers. He scores. The Indians win 7-6, their ninth win in their last 10 games. For the diamond again, Josh Beckett, a chance to become the Major League's first six-game winner, said uh, Tech, Veritech, is catcher. He wasn't at his best. It was still a quality outing. Well, Jason Kendall can attest to that. Top four A's down a run. Mark Ellis swinging at the curve of the dirt. Top six, Bobby Crosby to third. Mike Lowe makes a nice backhanded stab. Dives to third, runs into Mike Piazza. Piazza left the game with an injured, sh injured shoulder, strained AC joint. Sox would get two in the bottom of the sixth, so they now lead, and there's Beckett. Ellis is frozen. Seven Ks and in seven innings for Beckett. Jonathan Papelbon not available, so Mike Timlin's on trying to close it out. Coco Crisp, a nice diving grab. Red Sox win it 6-4, to four, which means that Beckett does indeed move to 6-0. Detroit has won three straight, looking to sweep, visiting Baltimore. Gary Sheffield salivates at the thought of facing Steve Traxel. Bottom first, first pitch gone. Sheff, 20-52 with five home runs. Career against Traxel after that. Remember, Sheffield batting a buck 17 through the first 17 games this season. Two of his three homers coming in this series. Bottom third, 2-1 game. Another hit. Remember, Leland gave him the day off and energized him. He's he's hitting over 400 since then, he, he, and he's got wheels. Fifth stolen base of the year. That, that didn't amount to anything. This does. Runner on third, two out. Sheffield, Traxel, broken bat, single. Curtis Granderson, who went to third on a wild pitch, scores the game is tied. Sheffield, who'll go four for four on the day here off Chris Ray, two RBI. He's now batting 226. The Tigers have won nine of 14 in one run games. They take this one 3 2. Some the winningest in Angels history. His team took the first two in Kansas City. Scoreless here in the top of the fourth. Shea Helen Brand stings one, but Tony Payne makes a super catch. Still scoreless until the top of the fifth. Nobody out. Sean Figgins at the dish. Serves it the other way. Eric Ibar comes in to score. Angels lead 1-0. Jorge De La Rosa pitched well. That was the only run he gave up. Bottom seven, same score. Esteban Herman at the plate. Three home runs and 441 career at bats. And what do you know? One swing of the bat, three runs for the Royals. That's the way the game finished up. KC led for the first time in the series after that home run. Great Northwest. White Sox not so great. Merely average. 12 and 12. Losers of three straight. They're up 2 1 on homers like Die and Canerco. Joe Creedy thinks he's got something. Unieski Bettenport says, uh, Canonize me. Bottom seven game tied. Kenji Jojima down the third baseline. And Creedy says, What? Well, uh, Bettenport got me. I'm going to get you when Glove comes to town. Next batter says, It's Bettenport. He says, You're not getting any of this. Uh, the rookie, John Danks, who's now 0 and 4. Fourth straight loss by the Sox, M seventh win in eight games. Seattle three two. Minnesota's won four of five. Joe Nathan calls the Devil Rays his kryptonite. Three one. His team led heading into the ninth. After that, Ty Wigginton shot. It's now three three. Wigginton had a three hit ball game. Tied at threes. They head to extra innings. Bottom ten. One out. Runner on first. It's Ben Zobrist. He's a pinch runner. This is Brendan Harris. Down the line, is it going to bring home the winning run? Here comes Oberst and third base in the third base line and a 
Oh, the poor fella fell down. Zobris ah! said afterwards it was the hardest fall I've ever taken on a ball field. He's smiling, but you know he's got to feel well, kind of like an idiot. But then here, hustling, hustling, and a great slide. He's safe. Jason Bartlett tried to throw him out. The Adam Navarre brings him home. Joe, Joe Madden said it was an unusual conclusion to the game. Do you think so, Doctor? Four game for the Phillies and the Braves from the A. Braves sketcher Jared Saltalamachia making his Major League debut, setting a record for the longest name in Major League Baseball history. Some other notable long names in sports. You got Ben Roethlisberger, TJ Hushmanzada, Sharunas Yesikavich has also got some book learning in College Park, Maryland. He leads the NBA. Jamie Langenbrunner leads the NHL. See, these are long names. Where's Schnellenberger? Howard Schnellenberger? Isn't his like 15 letters from college football coach? Anyway, Santa Lamacchia said, don't worry about my name. Worry about my game, baby. He throws out Jason Wirth here in the top of the second. Top six, Ryan Howard facing Chuck James. 0 for 11, seven career Ks, and then this one. High and deep to center field. Out of here. Fourth of the season for Howard. Ties things up at threes. Bottom six, same score. Bases are drunk for the Braves. Willie Harris brings home Scott Thorman. Go ahead, run. It's four to three there in the sixth, and that's how it ended up. Atlanta moves to 17 and 10. Go back to the diamond. Rubber game between the Dodgers and the D backs. Doug Davis was facing Mark Hendrickson. Battle of lefties. Bottom six were scoreless. Rothfield for call on second after a Chris Young air and Juan Pierre finds some space for call comes in. Dodgers lead one nothing. Bottom eight still the same score. Two on two out for Andre Ethier. Ethier slaps the 0-2 pitch through the hole. Russell Martin comes in to score. Ethier's 12th RBI. Dodgers up two nothing. Stephen Drew represents the tying run. Takashi Saito gets him with a nasty breaking ball. Mark Hendrickson 2 and 0. ERA 1.30. Surprising story early on. God, thank you. She was feeling it. This particular show. Roy Oswalt owns the Cincinnati Reds, 17 and 1 against them in his career. It helps when you've got when you've got Carlos Lee, not necessarily known for the glove work, making a, a superb play there. Bottom six, Craig Biggio. This guy's a Hall of Famer for so many reasons. Line drive brings in Brad Osmus Biggio. Well, he gets tangled up here with Brandon Phillips. He's out. Phillips' arm got pulled awkwardly. He did continue to play. Two hits for Biggio. 29th in the all-time hit list. He is closing in on 3,000. Bit of a doubleheader for the Cubs and Pirates. Chicago winning Tuesday's weather suspended game, 8-6. This is the original game here. And Derek Lee, top one, down the right field line. Uh, Ian Snell, Brian Terrio scores from second. Derek Lee's batting 415 this season, 11 game hit streak, eight game double streak. How about Alfonso Soriano? Hit his first home run of the season in Tuesday's suspended game. There's his second. He went eight for 15 in the series. Back to Snell, four walks, a hit batter, and in, in this case, Cliff Floyd to score a run. Also a run scoring wild pitch, not good. The Cubs win 7-1 plethora of sports to choose from for this particular edition of Top Plays. We begin number 10, Neil, on ice. Jonathan Chichu benefits from the Joe Thornton pass. Thornton's the best passer in the world at the moment. Chichu in the net, but the Sharks would lose in overtime. Number nine, number nine, back to the Cubs and Pirates. This is game two when we just left. And we, and we talked to you about Derek Lee, the way he's swinging the bat. Well, he reaches out and Signs autographs, takes away that Jason Bay pop. Tiger and Jordan, now are you Pacific Rim investing? Do you want to go long term? I mean, what are you doing? Because I have like, do you have a billion? I've almost got a billion. There it is. It was fun times. Wachovia, it's Tiger, it's Michael Jordan, it's uh, some swinger that owns a Mercedes Benz dealership. Good for you guys, pro M style. All right, this is going to be a little, little bit of a letdown after Adriana on ESPN Deportes sang it up, but it's it's, it's Clarence Seydorf to Ricardo Kaká. Milan wins 3-0 in the Champions League semi over Manchester United. Tim Duncan's moving on, but not before Marcus Canby reminded him, especially in the playoffs, never ever bring that Kool-Aid to a grown man's party. But the Nuggets get beat. At number five, this is what you call a laser. Barry Bonds, number 743, is 12 within 12 homers of Hank Aaron's career record, and, and the Giants won the game. White Sox Mariners. Kenji Jojima slicing foul and out of play. No, oh, it's Joe Creedy. He throws out Kenji Jojima. Creedy. That's Brooks Robinson style, ladies and gentlemen. White Sox lost him. At number three, Marlins met. <laughs> Joe Borchard thinks he's got something. Jose Reyes says, what you got is you got the National League Player of the Month for the month of April. That's what you got. Phillies Braves. Base is loaded. Kelly Johnson fly ball to right. Shane Victorino. 
Uh, from? Maui no Ka'oi, brah. There you go. It's Jared Saltalamakia. Longest name. And all those letters in the back of his jersey apparently slowed him down. He got thrown out of the dish. And number one, Diamondbacks, Dodgers, Jeff Kent. Well, that's not a fair fight. We know why. Alberto Cayaspo. Diving stop. Starts the 5-4-3 double play. He gets the top play, but the Dodgers got the win. 2000 showed monster storms Wednesday in Texas, so we had a little doubleheader Thursday. Andy Pettit looking to get a win. Bottom second. Bases loaded. Michael Young. Line at Alex Rodriguez. He throws over to Robinson Cano. Double play. Pettit out of the jam. Michael Young 0 for 5. Jason Jombie. I am William Wass. <laughs> His fifth of the season gives the Yanks a 2-1 lead. Bottom four, Gerald Laird swinging and striking out. Pettit five Ks on the day. Was in line to get the win, but didn't. The pen let him down. Jeter 0 for 3 looking for a base hit. It, it wasn't well struck necessarily. Doesn't matter. It's a base hit. The, the hitting streak for Jeter extended to 19 later in the eighth. Men on the corners, two outs. Hideki Matsui turns on the 2-0 fastball, and he smokes it. Jeter comes around to score. The Yankees lead 4-3. Mariano Rivera. Well, he used to be Sandman. I don't know what he is now. Apparently, he's Sandman. Gets uh, another save. He's back on track. The ERA is under 10. Joe Torre called it a huge game for us. Yanks go for the sweep. Game two, Mike Messina off the DL. Bottom second, Sammy Sosa. One two fastball, no shot. Messina, five innings, four hits, one earned, three Ks. Brian Bruni. Oh, he gets Sosa right in the dome. One more look, one more listen. Always a frightening moment. You see it up, it's tight, it gets sort of the shoulder, the head. Sosa would leave the game, but uh, the reports from the dugout were that he was all right, all things considered. Yankees up 5-2. Jeter incidentally extended the streak to 20 in this game. And Kenny Lofton with, he is actually the tying run, and instead it's a 4-6-3 double play. Lofton's uh, still got some speed, so they get him. That's it, that's all. Mo Rivera saves both games in the doubleheader. Fenway Park, Red Sox and Mariners. Matsuzaka-san and Suzuki-san, apparently not as big a deal the second time around. Uh, walks Ichiro to open the game, and then Adrian Beltre next. That's two men on, and, and then Jose Vidro next. That's three on, and the, the 35 pitch first continues. One run in on a ground out, bases loaded for Jose Guillen. He doubles Matsuzaka, seven runs, five hits, five walks, and five innings. The Mariners took a 5 nothing lead. Matsuzaka has got a 5.45 ERA this season, but Horacio Ramirez is a giver. Giving back a five-run lead. First six batters reach in the bottom of the second. David Ortiz, of course, Dustin Pedroia there, and, and we are tied at five. Bottom four, Manny Ramirez with one on. This is Ramirez against Ramirez. Advantage, Ramirez. Manny's fourth of the season, two-run shot, and it is 7-5 Boston. Top five, 7-6, two on, two out. Unieski Betancourt, ground to short. And look at Jose Guillen right there. Stops in front of Julio Lugo at an awful day, and. Well, he can't make the throw, and Richie Sexton scores. We're tied. Bottom eight. And, well, this is Manny admiring Manny. <laughs> Chris Reitzma, second of the night, fifth of the season, 8-7 final Boston. Baseball heavyweight matchup. be Ryan Howard and the Phillies against Barry Bonds and the Giants. Bottom one runner on first and second. Bonds, who's owned Adam Eaton, he singles. But Randy Wynn knows Shane Victorino is from Maui and he's got an arm. He doesn't try and score. Bonds went one for two. He was pulled after four. Top four, Matt Cain got clobbered. Three innings, seven earned. Jonathan Sanchez not any better. Pat Merle scores on the Abraham Nunez RBI. The Phillies up 8-2, but now it's 9-6, bottom six. And Eliezer Alfonso lines it. Aaron Rowan tries to make the catch. Dave Roberts scores. It's 9-7. They scored five in the six, but Brett Myers is caffeinated. He gets Mark Sweeney. Howard goes 0 for 5 with four Ks. His club still gets it done, though. 9-7, your final. Going to play host. New York's won its last 10 at the D-backs pad. Todd Glavin go for, going for career win, 294. And in those 10 they've won in the desert, the Mets have outscored the Diamondbacks. 84 to 20. This is information we could have used earlier. Bottom one, Glavin against Orlando Hudson, who will homer off him later. That, but that right there, that's career strikeout number 2,500. 20 years, you got to average 5.4 Ks per nine. The Mets are going to get six in the bottom of the top of the ninth, including this. In the air, deep left center field. Back toward the wall goes Young. That ball is out of here. A three-run homer for Damian Easley. Mets 
turn a 4-3 deficit into a 9-4 win. David Wright goes yard two. He doesn't hang out, have to hang out with the Demon Deacon. Cleveland 6-1 thus far in an eight-game homestand. There's Cliff Lee, first start of the year. Six innings, five earned, four Ks. Part of the damage done by Troy Gloss. He's hitting 378, and he will occasionally just hammer a ball. That's a home run. It's 4 nothing Jays, but here come the try. Bottom four, one on, two out. Cleveland down 4-3. Grady Sizemore lines one to center. Alex Rios drops the ball. And what happens is that we've got a play at the plate. We've got a big collision. Phillips and Barfield get together. Then there's words. There's... A little bit of pushing and shoving. David DeLucci has to be restrained after the dust settles. You create something like inward singing. And right here you're thinking, Wendell. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're, you're thinking if you've got, you know, a, an umpire fantasy league, who's going to get thrown out? Well, here Sizemore finds some ground. Mike Rouse, who had uh, earlier hit a two-out single, he was one for 19 before the singles. And, and he got there and scored. Hooray, everyone. He's happy for Cleveland. Milwaukee's won four straight. They lead the NL Central. David Bush twirling. And here, Tony Graffinino robs Chris Duffy. A scoreless ball game. Bottom three. Runners on first and second. Prince Fielder. Chopper finds ground. And the Brewers lead one to nothing. Off-speed pitch here in the seventh is is one that Bush would really sorely like back. Jose Bautista hits his second home run of the year off David Bush. Pirates now lead 3-2. All four of the runs that the Buccos got came in this frame. Ronnie Paulino, the next man up, a solo shot. The Pirates go up 4-2, and they win by that score. Baseball Reds and Astros in Houston, the two starting pitchers that have combined one win in their last 25 starts. Eric Milton and Wandy Rodriguez. You won't see Milton and Rodriguez wishes he hadn't seen Ken Griffey Jr. Top one solo shot, 566 career, three on the season. Top eight, Chad Qualls gave up a walk, a triple, and then Griffey, a runner on third in the infield playing in. Uh, that'll plate the run, and then Jeff Conine and sack fly and Griffey after Griff stole second and went to third on an error. Bottom eight, Reds up 5-4, not anymore. Mike Stanton giving up three runs for his second time in four appearance. This is Luke Scott smokes him. Stanton called his performance completely disgusting. Seven five throws. That's not sporting, and I don't approve of that, but I do approve of these. They, they all met my list, and I have a list, long yeah, list. You heard about that. Yeah. Paul Millsap reminding Juwan Howard that especially this time of year, it's ill-advised to bring the Kool-Aid to a bromance party. Jazz win. I mean, who are you to have a list? But number nine, number nine, Pirates first. Tony Graffinino. Diving stop at third. Chris Duffy. You know what? He was not wearing his PF flyers. We got more from this game later in these top ten. I'm done being self-deprecating, bro. That was that was so last year. Here is uh, Tony Gwynn Jr. trying to get on base via the bunt, but Tom Gorzolani is having none of it. Beautiful tag there. The Pirates come back with four in the seventh to win. Anyone for tennis, wouldn't that be nice? Champions Cup, and his name's Pete Sampras. You may have heard of him. 14-time major winner. Didn't touch a racket for three years. Plays in his first tournament in nearly five years. And, of course, he wins. Defeats Peter Porta. All right, so the Devil Rays are, are far from great, but they're starting to put some pieces together. B.J. Upton, this guy can go. Nice diving stop to get Jason Bartlett. And the Devil Rays win again. Took the last two from the Twins. At five, we've got the Angels and Royals. Reggie Willett's got a 10-game hit streak, the longest by an Angel this season, but it, he didn't get a hit here. You know why? Because John Buck makes the play. Is that a catcher's name or what? John Buck. Look, he comes out and he's throwing down and still nails it. Royals got the win, though. Los Yankees against the Rangers. Derek Jeter, he has extended his hitting streak to 20, but Matt Cata denied him here in the first inning of the second game and Melky Cabrera was running and that didn't work out at all. He got doubled up. The Yankees took both games by a score of 5-2. Life is being on the wire. Everything else is just waiting. World High Wire Championships in Seoul, Korea. They're going uh, a kilometer. That's .62 miles. Did you do that? <laughs> no, <laughs> not for any amount of money. If you fell, you fell into water, though. So I guess that's... Oh, yeah, because that, that'd be great. Yeah. To fall off into the water. <laughs> <laughs> How about David DeLucci? I've never understood why it was this guy had ended up on so many teams. He's got skills, he can hit, and he can do that. Indians win again. You know who fell off the wire? The Dallas Mavericks. They fell, they fell hard. Baron Davis and the Warriors knocked the Mavericks one seed out of the NBA playoffs. Golden State advances. Get six for Pam Oliver. 